chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it has that Apple A14 bike chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let us get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go get into music, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I think we are offline here, so it's not going to be that big of a difference. We can try something like their app stores, 3, 2, 1. Although this one is on Wi-Fi, this one is not. So we'll just have to hop out of this one. Camera, 3, 2, 1. Okay, perfect. Let's go and take a photo, 3, 2, 1. So they both have their night mode thing that just came up. So we'll see which one is the faster one. And it looks like the 12 Pro Max was faster there by a little bit. The iPhone 12 was a little bit below. Let's go and open up that photo. Not really a massive difference. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do photos. Three, two, one. So kind of roughly about the same thing. Let's go and take open up the photos. Let's go and open up the, this one. So not that big of a difference right there. Hopping out of here. Let's do mail. Three, two, one. Okay, 12 Pro Max I think was faster. Calendar, we'll skip that one. Oh, we can start opening up some of these third-party applications I have on both. So we can try Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. So this isn't a massive game, but it's still a good game to kind of test out that I do every once in a while. So we can see the 12 Pro Max does seem to be a little bit faster here. And the iPhone 12 is a little tiny bit slower. Again, not a massive deal here, but just something to kind of keep in mind. And you can see that the iPhone 12 Pro Max was the faster one here. If I go and click play, I do kind of want to see what ends up happening. So I'm going to click play and... I think the 12 actually kind of loaded up into it a little bit faster. Hopping out of here. Let's go and try something else. Let's go and try Snapchat. 3, 2, 1. Okay. 12 Pro Max was faster, but it, this one was logged to an account. We could try Snake vs. Blocks. 3, 2, 1. Okay. The 12 Pro Max, again, was the faster one. With the iPhone 12 being a little tiny bit slower. You can try Stack. 3, 2, 1. Okay, the 12 Pro Max again was a faster one. iPhone 12, tiny bit behind. We can try Facebook, which I do not have, which is very weird. Oh, I do have it, 3, 2, 1. I might be logged into an account here. And I was, but that's an old account. It's going to hop out of here. We can try something like Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And we are kind of getting into a Wi-Fi issue here. So when it comes down to it, I think the 12 Pro Max is probably the one that's consistently more faster. But I still think the iPhone 12 is still very fast for the most part. Like you're still getting a very fast phone between both. Not a massive difference, I would say. But if you're trying to get the faster one, I'd probably say that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is clearly the fast one almost every single time. So that kind of covers it up.